Hi, Stacy here today to finally show off my massive throw collection. Okay, I say massive, but I do know there's someone out there and she may be watching. I hope she's watching. That actually has every Vera Bradley throw. Every one of them. Over 200 of them. Um, I don't know where she stores them all, but kudos to her <laughs> for collecting every pattern made in the throws. Now, um, I, I was a felt like as a Vera Bradley fan, I was a little late to jump on the Vera Bradley throw train, but I did uh, pick up my first one uh, when the fir very first throws went on sale. Now, looking back, I wish I had picked up all of them because I didn't realize how rare they would be or how popular they would be. Um, I didn't have a store around me in Southern California, so I didn't ever feel them in person to know how incredibly soft they are. They're made out of fleece. They're awesome. Um, and so I got one through the mail through VeraBradley.com and fell in love with it immediately and started collecting um, as soon as I could. So I'm actually doing this in, in stacks um, because there's a lot and I feel like they're going to th <laughs> fall over on me if I stack them all up. Um, so we're going to do these in stacks. There's no particular order. I did do a little bit of piling. Like, I've got my extra large throws, my Disney throws, my travel throws, throws that I haven't opened yet. Um, other than that, I didn't have any rhyme or reason. So, we're just going to look at them all in all of their glory. So, this first one is one I picked up about a year ago Petals in Paradise, I believe, which is the throw they decided to go with instead of Paradise and Paisley, because Paradise and Paisley is not a, a common one to see. It's very, very rare, but this one is very, very common um, with its turquoise there. Now, like I said, I had to grab these from all over the house to be able to show you, so it's quite a feat. <laughs> Under the bed, out on the sun, sun porch, in my kids' rooms, in the family room, in the living room, and I did hear some grief from my family um, for that, and they can just wait because I am um, only doing this video for them. I will put them all back, I promise. Although, gathering some up, some of them do probably need washed. This one I recently picked up. I haven't taken the tag off yet, but I got it pretty cheap. And there is Jazzy Blooms there. Beautiful throw, still extremely soft. Now I've noticed that over over the years, you know, I've washed them so many times that they do lose their their softness. Um, I think maybe a cup of vinegar thrown in with it will at least help the keep the color, but maybe keep the softness. I'm not sure. How I clean mine is or wash mine is I throw them in the dryer on de uh, or in the washer on delicate cycle with wool light, um, and I'll, I'll wash several together and then dry them as normal and dryer. Maybe some of you are cringing at me for doing that, but I'm sorry, that's what I do. Uh, this is Impressionista. This one I pulled off my oldest son's bed, but the, his bedroom is not too far from here, so I'll go put it right back on here soon. Very pretty throw. I got, again, another one I got real cheap. I, I keep saying I rarely ever pay mark or retail value for uh, my Vera Bradley items. I think that's true with the throws, except for my IU one, which I'll show. Um, because I've either paid pretty cheap for it, got it on sale, or there's a few that I paid market value for on uh, third-party websites, because I just had to have it and you couldn't find it anymore. So, um, this is Impressionista. This is actually my first throw. This is the one that started the addiction to the throws, and it's seen a lot of action um, wrapped up. Sick kids in this one several times. It is nice and washed and clean, but you can see it's it's Portobello Road. Throw it up here, and it just goes with so much. Um, my living room colors are beige, or yeah, a light beige and dark green furniture, and so this goes really well with it, with a little unexpected pop of color with a purple. So even though I don't care for Portobello Road in purses, I love it in the throw. Plus, it's my first. This is um, Buffalo Check, I believe. I picked up this one super cheap. I was on the fence about getting it, but I got it for $10. Couldn't pass it up. 
Um, Vera Bradley, I feel like, was practically giving these away <laughs> through their eBay store. And it's a pretty manly one, so the men in my house don't mind this one too much. I pulled this one off of my sun porch today. Um, this is Lola, one of my favorites. I use this one with my youngest son in his room forever, just because I wanted to. I bought this from uh, Vera Bradley when it went on sale because it was being retired. And not a lot of people picked this one up. Um, I don't know why, even though it has a brown background. It has a lot of color to it, and I love that. I really like Lola. And um, so people are like, oh man, you must have paid an arm and leg for that Lola blanket. I rarely see it. Nope, I got it on sale. Maybe $30, $35 um, through Vera Brunley. But they are worth much more than that now. This one, thank goodness, I... <laughs> they're all falling. Um, paid very little for this one. Um, blue bandana. I'm not a fan of this one personally. I think, although the pattern is gorgeous, I think on the throw it doesn't show up very well. It's kind of fuzzy looking, but it's got silly putty on it somewhere. My kids have beat this one to pieces, and I was okay with that because I only paid a few dollars for it. So not a big deal on that one. To me, this is also one of my first ones. Paisley meets plaid. Again, I only picked it up because it was on sale. Um, but this one's kind of grown on me over time. I really like the different shades of pink in it. Very pretty pattern. Here's another one I picked up really, really cheap. English Rose. Not a huge English Rose uh, fan. I only have maybe one or two pieces in it. But um, I picked it up really cheap. This is another one that was on the sun porch. No fading at all with these that I've experienced. Like I said, these are on my sun porch. We have two skylights and 11 windows in our sun porch and absolutely no fading on any of these. So, there's the first batch. Uh, we'll do this one next. Here's another one. I was on the fence. I don't even know. I do know why I was on the fence. I've been trying to stick with the extra large throws. <laughs> But then I waver, and there's just a pattern that's just too irresistible. Um, this is too well-priced to pass up. Midnight Blues. I paid maybe 20 bucks for it. I haven't used it yet, so it's still super, super soft, but I love this pattern. I bought this for my mother-in-law um, a couple years ago. Sorry, I got hair in my face. Um, a couple years ago, and I'm like, man, I really like Midnight Blues too. But it's not an extra-large throw, and I really want an extra-large throw. Oh, look, 20 bucks. Okay, sold. <laughs> that goes through the mind of this Vera Bradley addict here. Now we have Rosewood. Yet another one. This is the third and last one I pulled off the sun porch. Um, actually, this, this one had a smell from um, the charcoal from my husband's charcoal grill. But it's gone away, so I may still throw it in the wash. But it's very pretty. Um, I love the dark browns, and this is another one that goes decent in my, um, living room, so it sees a lot of action. Midnight Paisley. The black and white version of the Heather pattern. Again, a brand new one I've, I've bought, uh, super cheap, about, uh, 20 bucks or so. And there you can see, it's very similar to Heather, but in black and white tones. Another black throw. This is one of my newer ones, Kiev Paisley. Um, thanks to my friend Chrissy for picking this up for me in New York at the outlet there and shipping it out to me when there was a fantastic sale. And I believe she also used her birthday coupon. And uh, I got this gorgeous, gorgeous throw. This one was in my youngest uh, son's room. He loves this one. Um, it's... I, don't, I was a little disappointed when it came, but I think it's showing up actually really well on the camera with this lighting. But I felt like since Kia Paisley is black with those really rich jewel colors that I was expecting that same richness in the throw. And I feel like it's kind of lacking in that, but it's still a beautiful throw. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. Kudos to whoever designed Kia Paisley. Okay, let's look at the ones that I have yet to open. 
Um, I haven't untied this one yet. This is Alpine Floral. Um, love, love, love Alpine Floral, but I felt like the throw kind of missed the mark on this one. And I don't think I'm the only one that thought that either, because these were on sale for a long time. So I got it super cheap, but the the again, it's another one where the design is kind of fuzzy in the throw in real life. I was a little disappointed because it has um, great potential with the, that color scheme. Put that there. I, here's one I haven't opened. Um, let's see. Here, here we go. Uh, Alpine plaid. Now it's not. Really wish they had made it in Alpine check. Oh, I was so excited. That's when I hopped on. I remember hopping on the the computer. Like, oh my gosh, I want the Alpine check one. Oh, you only got it in red. Oh, I can only get this. Still got a great deal on it through Vera Bradley's eBay store, but I haven't used it yet. I don't know. It's kind of manly looking, but it's, it has that magenta in it. And I did want to show you one thing. If you're buying blankets off of eBay, um, and they say sealed, this is what it means. It means it's still in the plastic bag. This doesn't mean that this isn't new. It's just not sealed. So if you're, you know, obviously susceptible to pet allergies, pet dander, um, smoke, that's the bad thing about fabric is that it takes on um, secondhand smoke sm smells very, very easily and it's very hard to get out. Not impossible, but very hard. Um, so keep that in mind if you're buying throws, like off of eBay, Posh, Macari, wherever. Um, this is not sealed. New with tags, but not sealed. This is sealed, and so it should should not have ever been exposed to pet dander, smoke, all that good stuff. So something to keep out, out uh, on the lookout for when you're buying through a third-party website. Now, of course, always from Vera Bradley, if you buy um, online, you're going to get it sealed. This is Rosewood Chips. Um, frankly, I hate this pattern. Very happy that very little was made in it. Um, I got this super cheap. I don't know, I may have paid eight or nine dollars for it, and I still haven't opened it yet. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, I may do like my top ten worst fear Bradley patterns one day, and this one's gonna be on it. So I've already got an article about it talking about rosewood chips um, on my my blog, www. The Amazing Shopper. Blogspot. Dot com, and I go over that, so I'm going to make a video of that, um, not too distant future. Just because these are close by, I'm going to talk about these next. Here is the only one I cannot recall the name of. These are actually the travel throws, and I thought this one was all nice and neat and folded up into the pillow, but it's not, but you can fold it up into the pillow there, and we may do a video on that because there's a little bit of a learning curve, at least for me. On that now I bought this one for my daughter and whoever I would greatly appreciate if somebody could tell me what this pattern is um, in the comments below um, I looked it up on eBay before I did this and I couldn't find it apparently it's pretty rare <laughs> but I bought it when it first came out um, I had a, a birthday coupon that I was buying different things with I thought this would be great to travel we make a huge road trip once a year um, so I bought the Camel Cat, Camel Cat Gray for my two sons, so we have two of these, and this one for my daughter, and um, they did a really, really good job, but we've already used these on a road trip from last year, and no complaints there. Still same softness as the other throws, no issues. I folded it up into a pillow, used it, it's great. Again, this is Camel Cat Gray. Ooh, better be careful with that. I'm going to knock over my camera and my lighting if I'm not careful. Uh, let's go with Disney throws. There's only two different ones out there. Unfortunately, there should be one for every pattern. It's just a travesty that there isn't. I would have every one of them in a heartbeat. This is the newer one of the two. You can still find this through the Disney Parks app. And if you want one, get one, because once these sell out, the market value goes up quickly. 
This is Mickey's Magical Blooms. There, beautiful, still very soft. Then I bought this not too long ago, maybe a few months ago or so, or it feels like a few months ago. Um, there it's got Minnie and Mickey in it. Got it to the side here. <laughs> Drape this. Woo, got the static going on. I don't know if you can hear the popping. My hair is probably going to go everywhere. There it is. Beautiful. The other one. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess I should expect that. Um, doing the fleece blankets with the, the heat on. This is Midnight with Mickey. I have two of these. One I was very fortunate to buy from a uh, purse, a friend. I don't think she does personal shopping, but she lives next to Disney World, and this is the only place you could find this throw. And yeah, I did play pay retail plus shipping and her convenience fee, but she was very very nice to pick this up for me because she picked it up on like day one that it came out. And um, very fortunate to have this one. And then I bought my midnight with Mickey, my second midnight with Mickey throw through the through another person I knew and um, paid a little a little high on it actually if you can find this new with tags um, it retails for about four hundred dollars not retails it goes for about four hundred dollars the normal throw retails for forty nine dollars the normal not extra large throw retails for forty nine dollars this retailed for sixty five um, so yeah the, the market has gone up and I smell the mint I am oh. I was starting to do this throw, had a little bit of family mishap uh, happen, so I, I couldn't do the throw video. Um, let let the issue go, but there is no more gum in my house. No more gum. I had no gum policy, and the gum, the rule was broken, and when I went to go pull this off the bed, um, there it was stuck to one of my best pillowcases with a piece of chewed up gum. And now it's minty fresh and mama's not happy so I'm going to attempt to get the gum off I'm trying to find it here um, oh good grief these these kids and oh, I thought this one was safe it was in the guest bedroom nope I smell it but I don't see it um, there's the beautiful throw Trying to look in the camera. I may do a video of how to clean gum off of a Midnight with Mickey throw video. Woo! Was not anticipating that, but it looks like I'm going to have to. So there's Midnight with Mickey. One of the rarest throws out there. Most expensive throws as well. Okay. Now we're going to move on to, I think, extra large throws. And that's going to take me a second to get those. Hold on. comfy there. All right, extra large throws are amazing. Um, my husband will not sleep without an extra large throw underneath him and on top. Now that personally is a little too warm for me even though we live up north. Um, I'm getting a little up there in age and that's a little too warm at night for me. I don't mind one on top but I can't do bottom and top. It's just too hot. So this one is um, Confetti Stripe. This one is my daughter's. It's on her bed. I actually just pulled it out of the dryer for this video. You can still see beautiful colors. Has no issues. Smells fantastic. Still really soft. And she likes um, pinks, so this is right up her alley. Even though she's a teeny tiny girl, she's got this huge throw on her bed. <laughs> I only paid maybe $20, $25 for it. I waited till they were on sale. And this one I didn't pay much for either, maybe about 20 bucks. This is Bloom's Blue. Um, I have the other two. I'm <laughs> trying to keep them up here. They're so big. I The extra large throws are big enough to be a comforter style or cover an entire uh, regular sized bed. Kind of gives you a perspective of what they are. Smaller throws are 50 by 80. I don't recall. 
dimension to these, but they are super huge and awesome. So <laughs> I feel like, you know, the the person that has too much in their closet, they're trying to close the closet door. <laughs> this is Bloom's Blue. This one I pulled off of my bed. So, no, 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 no. Bloom's Blue came from the family room couch. Okay, here's another awesome one. Nomadic Petals. Um, the uh, Is it the interior pattern of Nomadic Floral? It's at least a sister pattern, if not the interior. This actually is the only one I have issues with. There, from time to time you hear about women um, washing their throws and beating up in little balls afterwards and getting all over everything. Like, oh, that, that stinks, but I've never had that happen before until I washed this bad boy. Um, it happened to me. And I happened to wash it with the pants that I wanted to wear to church. Had them in the dryer. Um, didn't notice anything taken out from washer to dryer. Threw them in the dryer. Uh, next morning, pulled up, pulled out my pants to use, and they were covered in these, like, seafoam green little balls. Could not wear them to church. So tick. Now, it didn't really affect the throw itself. It doesn't have any pilling. But when I wash this, I have to wash it alone because little green balls are everywhere. I don't know why that is so such a random issue, but you do hear about it from time to time. Okay, here is one of the absolute fewest items I've ever paid retail for. This is my husband's. It's in our basement family room. This is his Iethro that I got him uh, a couple years ago for his birthday. The collegiate line from Vera Bradley never goes on sale. Ever, ever, ever. Can't use birthday coupons on, coupons on it. Nothing. And I probably should wash this one here soon. But it's $88. I feel like it was worth it if you're a Vera Bradley fan and you find your favorite school. Now, I, I did not go to IU. He did. Um, but I don't mind IU, and I bought it for him. It is the size of an extra large throw, and it's super luxurious. Um, they really did step up the quality on, not, not that these are bad quality, but this is even better quality. So it's very plush, very luxurious. Um, you know, they recognize that you're going to pay more money for it, and it made it so accordingly, even though you're also paying for that... Uh, college logo there. Um, IU was one of the first colleges that they they did with, and they've expanded to like I don't know 70, 80 colleges. So you can find a lot of different colleges. Mine is still not up there. I will not hold my breath to see an Indiana State throw. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. Butler's there. Maybe even Ball State, but ISU. We'll see. Okay, back to the throws. This is. Marrakesh beads and this is one I pulled off my bed my husband likes it it's kind of manly there with the blue and the orange got it for about 20 bucks along with the confetti stripe one did not get the Sierra streams they came out with Sierra streams Marrakesh beads and confetti stripe all at the same time I didn't care for the stream so I didn't buy it now this one is interesting um, and I just realized I also have it in petal paisley I think it it's around here somewhere, so sorry I'm not showing one throw. But it's it's still in the package. It's still still sealed. Now I did not get this when it first came out. When Cobalt, Canterbury Cobalt and that line came out, it was all just regular throws. There was no such thing as an extra large throw at the time. But later, a few years later, Vera Bradley came out with extra large throws in retired patterns. So I have hope. I have hope one day they're going to make a Java floral, a uh, Java blue one, a uh, peacock. Um, gosh, what else would I love to see? Ah, uh, Hope Twall would be awesome. Um, gosh, apple green. Oh my God, that'd be so pretty. All right, okay. Get back on track, sis. Anyway, extra large throw, Canterbury cobalt, beautiful, manly, another one that's on our bed. So I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I got it. Um, and I also have that Petal Paisley. This is uh, the second of the... Whoa, we're all blown here. i got to watch out where I'm throwing throws. <laughs> um, this is the second of the Blooms collection. This is Blooms Pink. This is also on my, on my bed. You can guess who sleeps with this one. 
and I love the little spot, specks of gray, and it's such a pretty color. I'm not a huge on carrying pink, but I like this one, and it's just a throw, so it's not like I'm wearing it out. <laughs> now, speaking of wearing, if you were able to get one of the fleece um, shirts that they made, and I have both of them, um, just like the throws. And they're super duper warm, almost too warm. I actually only wore my black and white one um, when it was negative 10 outside because it's that warm. Um, and if you get the robes, the robes are made out of the same material too. So I highly recommend them. I have several of my own. I know, shocker. <laughs> and the last of the blooms. We have blooms gray with the black. Lovely pattern. This would just go with so much. And I'm thinking of the Soho throw now, right now. I don't have that one, but um, kind of color scheme, those two would be kind of cool together. Not a lot of color, but still very pretty. All right, last stack, very last stack of my most favorite ones, other than the Midnight with Mickey. I really love that one too. Okay, favorite ones. All right. No, I did not count these. I don't know how many I have. If anybody wants to take count in the video, you can leave that in the comments below. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I won't mind finding out how many I have. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep, I forgot Petal Splash. And the, the Hearts one that came out around Valentine's Day. Haven't used them either. They're still on my shelf in my beer room. Good job, Stacy. good job. All right. This is ribbons, and it is gorgeous. I did not pay retail for it. I did not pay a sale price for it. I paid second value, mar or third party value, second market value, maybe $100. You know that, that meme, um, do I say that right, meme, meme? Uh, my worst fear is when I die, my husband finds out actually how much my handbags actually cost. This is me in throws. <laughs> so I hope he just doesn't pitch him. He'll probably, uh, I don't know if he'll watch this video, but surely someone in my family will be like, don't get rid of the throws, you know. There's ribbons. It's a breast cancer pattern. Beautiful pattern. Hard to find throw. Heather. That used to be hard to find, but then they brought it back in production, and you can buy it through the outlet stores, which is how I obtained this beauty with the coupon. Um, just... So pretty it makes me so happy every time I see Heather oh, and I don't let the kids have this one this is mommy's um, even though you can easily get them now it's still mommy's sorry I they're okay they're not hurting on throws okay indigo pop one of my first ones not very soft from use anymore but still absolutely gorgeous look at that vibrant color so beautiful so beautiful now some of these throws, I feel like, you know, the back of them are a little bit lighter in color, a lot lighter in color than the front. Not with Indigo Pop. Look at that. Maybe just a shade, but very hard to see. Where did I pull this bad boy from? Gosh, it's seen a lot of wear. Um, I'm not sure. May have come from a bedroom. Uh, let's go with Marina Paisley next. I love Marina Paisley. I didn't realize how much I love this one. Actually, I thought it was a white-based throw because um, I never really paid much attention to it. I don't think I have anything else in Marina Paisley at this time. But being a white-based pattern, I thought it was a white-based throw until I was vid visiting my parents. My mom had this one in the guest bedroom, and I fell in love. Now, I, now, I did not steal this. But um, I bought my own, and I spent a lot of money on it. Oops. So, um, it's beautiful. It's barely been used. Um, I think this one was in the guest bedroom. So pretty. Okay, my last throw. Uh, Paradise and Paisley. Super duper, super duper rare. Very hard to find. Friend found it for me at the outlet sale. There was maybe just a couple there. And she picked it up for me. I was hoping it would have the sugar skulls in it. Because some of the Paisley and Paradise... Paradise and Paisley, I get those two mixed up all the time, um, have sugar skulls in them, so I was really disappointed. But I don't know why they didn't make this. Isn't this just scream Vera Bradley? I mean, it's bright, it's colorful, it's Paisley, and they went with Petals and Paradise instead. Really? Why? Was there a shortage of material? 
Did your manufacturer just refuse to make it? it was just, you should have done this one. Anyway, that is my wonderful throw collection. Minus three. I really wish I had shown those to you. I feel like I'm cheating you out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you um, accept my apologies. Maybe I'll throw them in a, in a future video. Yeah, that may be what I do. Um, so if you've enjoyed this, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, if you want to comment about your own throw collection, because I know if you're a Vera Bradley fan, you have throws. Don't kid me, you have throws. Outlet store, from, this, from the outlet sale, from the corporate stores online, you got them. I know you do. So tell me about them. I want to hear about yours. Do you have some I don't have, which I know there are a lot of, that I don't have, and maybe I need more. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm just having too much fun here with all these beautiful throws. Um, if you found this video informative or entertaining, um, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more Vera Bradley to show you. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of Vera Bradley, massive collection, and I um, can hopefully show you a few things about them, and you can learn more about Vera Bradley. All right, thank you. Bye.